Hey guys, Roy from ANS Gear. We're looking at a vest today. We've got the Tipman Tactical Airsoft Vest in Coyote. So kind of like a, a tannish or a darker tannish color right here. Um, <clears throat> pretty standard airsoft vest setup. I like that it's really lightweight. So the the vest itself that the accessories are stitched to or Velcroed to is very lightweight, very breathable mesh material. So it's gonna be comfortable on your body, but it's gonna allow for a lot of movement and a lot of freedom. Um, plus it's not gonna be very hot. So that's always a plus right there. On the front side, we've got a lot of uh, accessory slots or pouches. Top right here with some Velcro, so you can stick things to the outside if you need to put um, any kind of insignias or ranks or whatever you happen to put on there. On the inside of this pouch, you've got different little setups inside here. Lots of little Velcro things and elastic bands so that it'll hold pieces inside of the pouch. Uh, plus the individual little slots if you want to put some like um, shotgun shells or CO2 cartridges, whatever you need to down inside there, you could do that. Move over to this one. We've got individual slots for pistol magazines. So this kind of side, you're not going to find a pistol magazine for paintball that would fit inside of here. But if you're an airsoft player, you definitely have something that might fit inside these for paint or for airsoft pistols. And then the outside has some molly weave on there so you could attach more attachments to the outside of this if you wanted to, or put like a D-ring through there or a carabiner through there and clip stuff to it. Uh, same thing for the top up here. You've got little um, molly weave so you can put stuff on there. Coming down to the bottom, or the front I should say of the bottom, you've got <clears throat> on both sides, uh, three pouches, so six pouches total where you could put magazines inside of. And these would be larger size magazines like AR style or um, SMG style magazines or wh whatever magazines are kind of appropriately this size. Uh, also, if you're using it for a paintball application, the smaller paintball pods, the uh, 50 rounders like this or the 100 rounders, you could get those in there as well. Now, when it comes to a large size pod, and this is a standard 140 round pod right here, it'll fit into the slot, all right? But as you can see, the strap is not gonna come around and cover it. So if you're looking for a vest for paintball that you wanna hold pods in, normal size pods, don't get this vest. Not the vest for you, but if you wanna use it for other things, airsoft or, uh, more of a tactical paintball setup, this might be an option for you right here. So we know these fit inside there. These 100 round or the 50 rounders or the 100 rounders will work. Um, standard magazine. So here I've got the 10 round die tactical magazine. We can get this one to go down inside there and that will come over no problem. So we know that'll work. And then we've got the die 20 rounder right here. This would be approximately the same size as the CF-20 mag from Planet. If you're putting these in, depending on how you load your, your, your vest up, be careful that Velcro, or not Velcro, I keep calling it Velcro, the elastic that's down inside there, you wanna make sure that it gets past that elastic and gets down in there. Now see this one is, boy, it is right at the end right there. I don't know if I could get that Velcro around there and I'm not caught up on my elastic band inside there. So this one, I've got that pretty well pushed down as far as I can, and the Velcro just barely gets there. I'm gonna try taking this out and flipping it around, see if I get better depth. And I do, I get a little bit better depth on flipping it upside down and putting it in there. One thing, if you're gonna run them that way, just make sure that your top covers are over so that um, you don't get any dirt or debris inside there and you don't lose any paintballs out of it. So that's this one. As you can see, that's probably the longest setup you're gonna try to put in there, that um, full-size die mag. The 30 round, first strike round, not gonna fit in there. there. I'm not even gonna try to put that in there, just gonna look silly. So we'll go with the, the 20s right here. Let's see how they do inside here. Those are no issue at all. Those go right down inside there. Plenty of Velcro on those. Um, and then obviously this isn't gonna work too. So this is the 10 round 
first strike, perfect, no issues. And then the Tipman magazine right here drops right down in there. And that is even with the pull tab on the bottom. You can flip that over, put that in there. So that's easy to get right out of there. So most magazines are gonna fit inside of there. The 30 round first strike mag, not. And then the die mag and uh, conversely the CF uh, continuous feed 20 round planet magazine. I don't have one of those to test, but I'm pretty sure they're about the same size as the die mag. We'll have to do a follow up to that and see if that one goes in there. But you should be able to get it in just right on the edge of being too big. So that's that. Let's open up the vest, unzipper and open it up. So in through here, we've got um, again, the mesh that you see there on the back side, you can open this up and you could put um, some padding in there if you wanted to, if you're looking for a little bit better back support through the back side, you could put a, a hydration device inside here. So if you have a camelback or some sort of water supply, you could drop that down in there as well. Up along the top where the shoulders connect, it is a Velcro system up through there. So you can adjust that depending on your shoulder size. And that's got a really secure attachment system right there with double-sided Velcro. That's not gonna go anywhere once it's together. All right, look at the back side here. So the back, we talked about these straps or the shoulder pads right there. Pads, not really pads, I guess. The shoulder, uh, adjustable shoulders, strap. You've got Molly attachments through the back. So if you want to uh, put attachments around the top, you can. Some D-rings right there to attach stuff. Uh, a carry handle right there. If you want to just carry your vest around once it's loaded up, you don't want to put it on, you can carry it through there. Or if somebody needs to drag you across the ground, they could drag you by that. Velcro through the back. So you can put name plates on here. We talked about these. These are actually part of the front right there. So those are the six um, mag pouches on the front. On the back side, it is adjustable. So the strapping that goes around the waist or the side right there is adjustable. You've got three adjustments on each side so you can snug it up or make it bigger if you need to. And then coming down to the bottom, we've got this thing. So this is for a tank right here. Now for airsoft players, this probably isn't going to be useful unless you're running a HPA system in your airsoft guns, like a Polar Star or Wolverine setup or whatever it happens to be. Um, you need a tank for that. These ones, uh, or this vest can accept that. Now inside the top and the bottom has this little um, Velcro setup. So if you're gonna run your tank vertically with the regulator at the top, then you can wrap this around there and hold it in place and go around the bottom and hold this in place and then do these straps around here and snug it into place. So you definitely want to make sure that that's not going anywhere. If you invert it and want to run regulator down so that the hose is coming out the bottom, you do just the opposite. Snug this up around the regulator, put this around the bottom of the tank, which is going to be at the top, and then clip those two around there. You want to make sure that that doesn't have a way of sliding out the bottom. So you just want to be safe. And I guess, uh, or not I guess, uh, I don't remember if I mentioned the Velcro on the outside so you can stick stuff to that as well. So, Tipman Tactical Vest has all the things you would need to um, run really any kind of airsoft setup, uh, various paintball setups. You could use it for a real life scenario if you um, are at the shooting range and need to carry some stuff around as well. Uh, it does not have, as far as I can see on here, uh, anything that hangs down to support a belt setup. So if you're gonna do a drop leg holster attached to a belt, there's nothing to attach the belt to this vest. Well, you might be able to fashion something up to do that. People are pretty smart these days. Anywho, uh, check out the website for color availability on this. Um, this is the Tipman Tactical Airsoft Vest in Coyote. It's available through the website. Order yours now through ansgear.com.